Hey, everybody. Welcome to Golf Cart TV. This is Matt White, and I am here with a special guest today that I will tell you about in just a minute. But we are here. Golf Cart TV is all about sharing stories and showing you cool and fun and awesome carts, uh, both from dealers and from do-it-yourself builders and, and uh, you know, just folks that are out there working on their carts and making them cool. So the idea today is talk with the great guy out of BA Carts, and he's going to show one of his really cool builds, and we'll talk through that. So uh, welcome, Sloan. Why don't you give us a little bit uh, about who you are and what you're doing here and why anybody should care? Yeah, my name is Sloan Whitaker, and I run and own BA Carts with my father. Uh, if you are in the golf cart space, you've probably seen my face a ton, and I've never seen my dad's face because he hates being on camera. So, um, but yeah, we got into, we're a 30 year old audio video business and, uh, my dad started just to make the story short. My dad kind of gotten, fell into the golf cart thing just for fun with a friend, uh, about eight years ago now, maybe nine years ago now, I think. And, uh, just dabbled with the golf cart thing. I was coming home every once in a while from college or from Columbus, Ohio, kind of tinkering with them and messing around with them too. And then, uh. I moved home right around the perfect timing where golf carts were officially made legal on the roads, like in Ohio and other states. And at first, we were just building refurbished carts, uh, buying pre-owned and refurbishing them. And then we started picking up newer OEMs like Club Car Onward. And we did originally just kind of keep it simple. Believe it or not, four years ago, we didn't even put speakers in golf carts. We were just doing sound bars. <laughs> And we're just doing like we just was kind of staying conservative about it. All right, Sloan. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this one of a kind cart that you've got here? We're excited to see uh, what you got. I can see it flashing in the background. So I already know it's yep. going to be exciting. Well, I'll tell you where my priorities are at because you must be more important to me than my website because I haven't even taken pictures or videos for my own website yet for this car. It's not even listed on my website for sale yet. So I've just been too busy for it. So every year we build high-end crazy carts to take to trade shows to show what we can do to kind of grab attention at trade shows and all that kind of stuff. And this is the product of that. This is called the, uh, we called it the Grand Touring Special Edition. So it's a six passenger club car onward gas. And we added equivalently $25,000 worth of labor and work to it. And uh, so it's about 45 grand. And got one of the best sound systems in the country as far as golf carts go. I'll just start down with the rims. Um, the rims, the rims are mods. These new 10 inch wide rims are from mods. They're so sweet. And as soon as I saw those come out, I was like, man, I know we got to use some of these 10 inch wide rims on the build. So, and I wanted to get something kind of different looking than we normally build. We're normally build kind of dark looking carts, black, stuff like that. And I just wanted to change it in totally. I kind of had like the uh, inspiration for like the, uh, it's one of the uh, Corvettes. It's like white outside and red in the interior. So that's what I was kind of focusing on with this. So, you know, six passenger, obviously, and then everything's custom painted. So we got a painter here in Van Wert that does amazing work. And uh, we always had a hard time finding someone that could actually paint all the plastic and be uh, prone to abuse, you know, not flake and all that kind of stuff. Um, and he does a so but that, that with having a or painter now being able to paint stuff that added a whole crazy appeal to the cart and being able to do all the colors and you know all the cart in one color so the body is we we count we call the snowstorm white club car had a famous uh special edition that was called snowstorm so this is like that pearl snowstorm color so you got the snowstorm white um nick you can go to the stuff when you want to talk about it if you want to and then obviously all the plastic is painted and uh, I even had our painter go as far as painting the double take dash as well, uh, which again, it, you wouldn't even notice it when you're looking at it, you think it came white, but that's all custom painted as well. And then I'll take you to the other side and I'll show you guys the touch screen. Um, so this is one of our staples. This is one of our staples that we do at BA Carts. We mount a Stinger heightened touch screen, 10 inch touch screen into the overhead console. This is a club car overhead console that we buy just the parts for, and then we assemble it, making it look OEM essentially. A lot of people think, I mean, thousands of people see this a, a month on our content and stuff like that. And people think this is like a, an OEM 
option that club car offers because they do offer the connect screen which is for golfing but this is totally up to us we make our own harnesses and uh wire all you know all the wirings through the struts and this has apple carplay android auto it has a backup camera it has bluetooth it's um right now we're on apple um apple car or android auto right now so it has the maps and all that kind of stuff it's got an awesome eq and all kinds of audio settings and yeah this is it's a pricey option but this is one of our staples of what we do because it's just it's really easy to use instead of worrying about bending down the dash to use a head unit now you got this right above your head and it's just it's just awesome it's cool and it's easy to use so then the amp and all that is in the dash and that's powering the speakers so that's hidden all back there then you've got hertz hmx speakers these are coming onto the scene pretty hard now in like the boat world they um most people see like jl audio or kicker but these are in, in my opinion like the best marine speakers out there right now they sounded crazy clean crazy good and then back here we've got hertz hmx's as well these are eight inch speakers and this is our waterproof enclosure so this is a full enclosed box that we flush mount into the tub of the uh, of the onward and thankfully our coating we use they offer it in white as well so it makes everything match in there too and then back here uh we've got our stealth sub and i'm going to turn off these rear leds because you might not even be able to see it but you might uh the this is called our stealth sub so that is a jl audio 10 tw3 sub that's mounted in there firing towards the cart. So that drops right in where the cooler should go. And, and so you pull the cooler out, there's two wires running to the amp. You plug it into the sub real fast and drop it in. And uh, and yeah, it's the best sounding drop-in sub you can buy for a golf cart right now. Um, we only make them for club car onwards, but it's, it's ridiculous. We get constant complaints from campground owners and other people because customers will buy our carts with this uh, system and wake everybody up in the neighborhood or in the campground. And yeah, it's, I'll, I'll play it for you here in a bit after we're done covering all the, uh, the cool stuff, but yeah. And just so you know, goes. what's just up? So you know, just so you know, you can buy that at convertedcarts.com. Just as a, a little plug. Yes, you a little can. plug there. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah. Like, right. like you said, we're only making them for club cars and uh, we can, you can buy it with an amp. It, it takes a, at least a 300 watt JL audio amp um, to power it all. But yeah, it's like I said, it's ridiculous. I've, I've had a lot of customers buy from us that they bought other subs that are just like made for Marine use. And, but they weren't specifically made for like a golf cart and how this thing is built to exact specs for this sub, JL audio sub. And it's just, it's ridiculous. Once people hear it, it's just blows people's minds. But, um, I'll cover the lighting now as well. So another kind of trademark that we do is the rear flush mount LEDs. So whenever anybody's ever doing the backup camera on the Stinger, it's nice to have these because you can see behind you when you're backing up at night. So, and we, our mantra at Beak Arts is doing stuff that's functional, but clean looking and not like an eyesore. So that's what's awesome about these. Is people don't even typically notice these are here because we flush mount them inside of the, the back seat. And then, as you can see in the roof, why everything's lit up is because it's another trademark of what we do is we do our own dome lights. So all these wires are ran through the track top of the roof and you got dome lights for each passenger as you walk through the cart. And then in the front, we've got three LEDs. We've got an eight inch LED light bar here inside of the brush guard. And then we've got two floodlights up here, which can be pretty bright as well. So. This thing lights up the, the, the road uh, like it's daytime at night. And then I'll take you back over here with the dash, Nick. That's all, pro, that's all uh, triggered by custom-made rocker switches. So this is called Rocker Switch Pro. And they do, you literally pick what it says, the logos and all that. And you can turn it all on and off right there. Um, and uh, yeah, they're pretty sweet. We did the red backlighting as well to match the rest of the cart. And, and red switches. And then... Another thing that we're crazy fans of is UCU Inc's sweet seats. So these guys are out of Minnesota. We've always used, we've been using these guys for like five, six years now. It makes some of like the highest end cushions in the game. Tons of different vinyl color options, embroidery options and all that. This is called their touring, the villager touring edition seats. So you've got the headrest and the armrest and just nothing, nothing does a better job of making a cart look 
more luxurious than having seats like this where you got the double diamond st top stitching, the headrest and armrest. That makes a huge difference. And then, last but not least, we got the extreme mats. So these guys, extreme mats, came out with these four mats for the six passenger. I want to say a year ago or under a year ago, and thankfully they had them in red too, so I could make that accent the cart as well, and that helped a lot. And then you'll see steps. So those uh, dual mounted Jake's Nerf bar steps, to um, which looks awesome, and lets you know people step up into the cart really cool really easily and then another detail was the powder coating so you're going to see like the brush guard and the back seat and all the struts this is called prismatic powders alien silver it's got a super strong metallic look to it fits in the sun and uh it's kind of like a pearl to it just like a paint job does and that all has like flake in it so it's a lot of, there's a lot of detail in this cart and uh yeah it's uh, most tell people me, tell us what's up tell me a little bit about the the power system that you have in there running everything battery wise oh, so the so i guess one thing i didn't cover was that the amp as a jl audio m m700 by five um, um this we put a 500 dollar kicker battery in here that powers the whole kit so that's it's it'll run this system will run full go for three or four hours, um, no problem, without needing to charge on like that. So, and that's separate uh, from the golf cart battery itself? No, that's the bat that's a golf cart battery too. That runs everything, so, got it. Yep, yep, it runs everything. And then we've got uh, uh, breakers, we install breakers. Actually, Nick, I'll have you come to this side. Um, this is one thing we do, you know, that's what, what I think makes us different. We don't have crappy wiring, I mean, there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of feet of wiring running through this car, and that's how clean we make everything. So you got your breakers, one breakers for the amp, one breakers for all the all the other accessories. So you, as soon as you flick those, it's going to shut everything right off. But that is just the golf cart battery itself. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's like I said, it's a five hundred dollar battery because it's made to handle a whole charge for a long time and made to handle this crazy amp draw that all these accessories you know ask from the battery. So so reliable. To us. And I like the kind of uh, back seat dash that you have there as well with the little cup holders and uh, yep, stuff. Yep. yep. And as you can see there, that's all powder coated as well. And then we painted, we had the middle part painted white to match the rest of the car. But yeah, that's one nice thing. And that's one thing that's uh, a lot of people don't realize about the onward six passenger is how much space is in here. Because a lot of other carts, you don't have this kind of leg space. I'm not super tall, but I mean, I'm 5'11, 6 foot but I got plenty of room to sit in here. And that's one really nice thing about an onward is how much space you have in the cart, so. All right, Sloan, do you mind uh, sharing a little bit about what this thing sounds like? I know you touted uh, best best sound in cart in the country. So uh, let's see, let's see what this thing sounds like. Absolutely. Awesome, Sloan. That's so cool. Uh, so if you could share a little bit about how people can find you, websites, social media, what's the best way to, to get in touch with you? Yeah, so our website's bacarts.com. And we have, you know, all of our work. We I have a lot of information on there on options we offer. Yes, we got our inventory and all that kind of stuff on there too. But you can find a lot of our content on there as well. Then we're big on Instagram, YouTube. Facebook, we're very active on Facebook. We're active on all of those. So you can see all of our content on there. We, you know, we show off what we build. I do a bunch of videos showing just with a, with advice and experience and stuff like that, uh, that I've learned in the golf cart space, just trying to help average people that are shopping for a golf cart and or own golf carts. So yeah, you can find, you can just search BA carts on any of those platforms and you'll see, uh, I know some of my handles are different on some of those, but you'll, you'll find this. If you type it in, you'll, it'll be the yeah. first thing that comes yeah. up on there. So yeah. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And I'll just reiterate what Sloan just said. They are great at what they do, not only from the technical side, as you've obviously seen on the carts, but just content wise, uh, he's great at, at wanting to and having the desire to help, you know, whatever, whether you're going to buy a cart for him or not. Uh, he offers some really good content. So uh, cheers to that, Sloan. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Sloan. Really appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah.